Hey everyone, it's Tracy at TRCast, and um, we recently uh, have a we have a brand new product launch. It just came out last week. It is our renewal collection. Um, it is a group of really beautiful new buttons. Whoops, I got you upside down. New buttons and nature themed components. Um, we have succulents. We have uh, Luna moth and a honeycomb and some a bee button, a bunch of really beautiful stuff. And we wanted to hop on today and um, show you guys all about it. And I do have Kirsten and um, Julie here with me. I just need to find them so I can bring them back, bring them back out for you guys. And where are they? Here we go. All right, welcome, Julie. Hello. And here's Kirsten. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, guys. So thank you guys for coming on. Um, I was just telling everybody um, who's watching that we wanted to show them our newest product launch, the, excuse me, the Renewal Collection. And um, I'm gonna change my view so that they can see the parts down here on my other camera. So let me do that real quick. And, um, and then Kirsten, maybe you can talk about um, some of the inspiration for these parts that we just launched. I was mentioning that we have a new honeycomb. Let me see if I can adjust this, this light. It's a little bit bright on here. Maybe a little better. So we have um, our new honeycomb link a new B button, a Monstera button, succulent posts and succulent charms, and the Luna Moth pendant link. Will you tell us a little bit about all of these parts, Kirsten? I would love to. So our first release of the year is this beautiful renewal launch. And um, the theme that kind of connects all of it is um, the theme of like connectiveness, transformation, working together, community, all um, words that we could really use right now um, when we're apart. Um, so the succulents are some of my favorite. I love that little baby post. Um, the succulent post and the succulent Kirsten, really cool. we're losing your sound a teeny bit. If you can, yeah. there you go. Okay. I'll be very loud. Okay. <laughs> the succulent parts are really cool because, um, like many people out there, I'm a plant mom, and we probably have a lot of plant moms out there. Those are actually cast directly from um, cuttings from a real life succulent. So they have all the beautiful texture and dimension that a real plant has. And- Just um, amazing. Yeah, anyone knows succulents are very hardy. Um, I love them, they're, they're very resilient, very hard to kill. Uh, I think that this species, maybe one of you ladies can help me, but it's an Echivera. Echivera elegans, I think yeah. it's, is how it's said. Perfect. I can never say it right, but um, those are great. And the post is a little small scale. It's just very sweet. I love those parts. That, that little uh, post is so delicate and so fun. It's beautiful. Yeah, and they all come in the three finishes. I love the copper finish. It's my favorite. It's just such a nice rosy color, especially on those succulent parts. Um, yeah. We also have another plant. So we have one of my favorite plants is a monster. Monstera. So we made a Monstera button. Um, Monstera are also very hardy, very resilient. Their, their name means monstrous. But that has to do with the size, right? They get really- Right. That, that has to do with the size. Ours are not monstrous. Ours are very lovely scale. And they also, this plant is very- um, very popular and also has real good symbolism. It's like they're very hardy, very um, resilient as well. 
So that's into the theme. Party and quick rolling, growing. Quick growing. And symbolizes respect and longevity. Right. Love that. Uh, so let's see. So the bees, we have two items that are related to bees. So we have a lot of beautiful bee items in our collection already. And so we just kind of added um, the honeycomb I loved. I wanted to make a link that was um, not necessarily identifiable as a link, but you can use it in a million different ways. Um, it really, it's not only is it a strong geometric shape, but it symbolizes kind of an interconnectedness right. and working together and community. Community, yeah. Productive, productivity and sweetness. Yeah. I printed the symbolism out. You're such a honey. <laughs> <laughs> Always be prepared. <laughs> um, uh, the bee is just a really cool, so it's obviously a bee, um, but it's a very vintage feeling bee, which is cool. It's kind of a classic. Is it specifically a honeybee? Is it specifically a honeybee? We worked with an artist actually for that one who drew the bee, and I believe she did work from a honeybee. Sweet. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. And we love the detail and the beautiful little border around it. Yeah, he's a really, he's really sweet and he works so well with so many of the parts that we have in the collection already. Mm -hmm. And with a nice big shank, um, we intentionally make our shanks broomy so that people can string the buttons on cord and other materials that are, you know, not just for sewing on clothes. So trying to get you guys centered here. Sorry for the jiggliness. All right, so beautiful button. And the last part that we have, the last one that um, we have in the collection is my favorite part. It's a Luna Moth. And it's really um, an interesting part because it has a lot of different holes in it. Yes, which, so there's, it, if people can see this, there's holes in the wings and the tail as well as the, um, as well as the top. So I've always loved Luna Moth. Um, in general, for me, they're, um, they symbolize transformation. They're just really beautiful in general. Um, they come out at night, right? They're attracted to the moon. Mm -hmm. So they have, the a they have a really nice mystique because they're kind of night creatures. And they represent rebirth and new beginnings, which... Perfect is perfect for this year. Yes, it certainly is. And that is, um, it's a really cool rendition because it kind of has a, almost like an Art Nouveau or Art Deco feel to it also. So I wanted to stylize, um, we have a lot of natural, like the succulents are very natural looking, but um, the Luna Moth is more stylized. And I think it makes a beautiful addition to so many different kinds of jewelry. So it's very usable in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I'm going to switch my camera back. Um, and then, um, so Julie, um, some of you watching may have seen um, some of these parts already because normally at the beginning of the late, in late January and the beginning of March, we are, um, visiting with our customers down in Tucson. We used to do trade show booths at the To Be True Blue show and um, have done other, other shows before that. Um, but the last few years, we've just gone down and we've gotten a suite at a hotel and um, set up an open house and set up a big jewelry making setup so that our customers could come see us <clears throat> in a really relaxed setting and have something to drink, have food, and sit down and just play with the jewelry. And obviously there's no Tucson beach shows this year. So Julie had this great idea back in November, December and said, you know, we need to take the bead show to our customers. So the way that came together, and it was a lot of work, but we kept put together these beautiful little boxes that have 
all kinds of jewelry making components, all of our new um, parts plus parts to support um, different jewelry projects. And Julie, for every customer that Julie set up a virtual meeting with, she packed up a box with the beautiful jewelry making box, as well as snacks and inspiration pages and a flyer for the launch. And um, I'm telling you guys all of this about this amazing box she sent to all of our customers because we have one to give away. There's um, one box left here in the shop and it's got all that great stuff. And we're gonna do a giveaway here on this video. Um, anybody who comments on it, um, I'm kind of keeping an eye on the comments here guys while we're, while we're um, streaming. So I'm, I, anybody who comments on this video, that's an entry in for the giveaway. I do so have to correct you, Tracy. We did not send them to all of our customers. No, all the customers, I, that, all, all the customers you made an appointment with. Yeah, there we go. We we couldn't have made that many. We would have we would no, have died. No, no, no. How many appointments <laughs> did you have? Like 50, 40? 50 mm -hmm. You only had 50 appointments over two weeks stretch. So those are the customers that we sent these boxes to. And we have one here to give away. So if you guys comment on this video through, I think maybe Friday at noon, I'll choose a winner. And that lucky person will get this video, uh, I mean, this, um, Play this box. yummy stuff. And um, we have a little video of, of one of our customers, Danielle Wicks, did a little video of an, an unboxing video when she got her box. So um, I'm gonna play that for you guys, um, just cause it's really sweet. So hopefully this is gonna show up and you guys can see this video. Probably gonna be a little bit, everybody's gonna see it at a little bit different time depending on their internet. Uh -huh. So is it showing for you guys, Julie and Kirsten? Not yet. It's not. Okay. Give it a minute. I might have done this wrong. Here we go. There it is. Okay. So that's our catalog. That was our brand new Long awaited catalog was right on top for those uh, if you're in real time with me. And then is it pause? I think it's pause. No. Should we run it? There's Sorry. the catalog. Right. And then as she gets down in there, you see all the other goodies in there. Get some people have giveaways. Uh huh. Right, that they gave away to their customers on video on the uh, Facebook Lives and stuff. The chapstick, very important. <laughs> In Tucson, so In Tucson. important. Oh, we've got some excitement about the giveaway. Good. Um, I hope that everyone's seeing. Oh, yeah. There's like a 20 second delay between what I can see streaming on Facebook and what we're showing in the meeting. So it's always a little bit of a guess if um, if somebody's seeing what we hope they're seeing. But yeah, yeah. it's all good. It's the gist. Everybody gets the gist. Are you so are we sending them parts. candy? Whatever's in the bottom of this box, whatever Julie put in there. Um, I don't think there was any food left. There should it's be just, it's just the stuff. stuff. I'll find some candy for the winner. Thank you. <laughs> there should be some stuff in there. So now, um, Julie, while we have you on with us, will you tell us a little bit about um, some of your customer visits and the response from the customers? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, we, I met with tons of people, like you said, between 40 and 50 um, individuals. And um, from the big online resellers, all the way, beat stores, um, big designers to small designers that are getting started um, in their studios. And everybody, it was just, were, was so excited to be getting this um, inspiring, uh, beautiful collection. And it was probably about the best received introduction I can remember. Uh, the fact that it was so um, bite-sized, it had only six parts in three colors. Yeah. And it had, uh, so, you know, it was just very inspiring. Uh, we had your wonderful um, inspiration. Oh, that is it. Tracy's Inspirations. Which, and I'm gonna change my camera again now so I can be showing some of the jewelry um, 
the jewelry projects and the inspirations that um, we shared with all of our customers. So Julie has what one of the things we put in the box was um, heartless and inspiration details for all of these designs. Um, you know, we included the parts for, we included the tiara cast parts and then the supporting parts for. for our, our wonderful vendor partners were very generous in giving us all the product to include. What the, the stuff that wasn't ours. Julie, we'll come back to this, won't we, Tracy? This um, yes, button. I was going to say, I was just going to ask you, what were the favorite designs? But you already mentioned that people loved the um, uh, the earrings we made out of the B button, which is a pretty simple concept. And we've used it a few times, but it really surprised a lot of people. What we did was just take a couple of jump rings and put those in the through the shank of the button and then you can hang whatever kind of embellishment off of the bottom and um, an ear wire at the top. So it's a very kind of simple little hack to make a button and earring focal. And Julie, the customers just love that, right? They said you were genius, Tracy, genius. Might be an exaggeration. I do. <laughs> I heard it more than once. I heard it. I heard it more than once. But mm -hmm. I think some of that is, and Kirsten could probably speak to this. Button um, buttons are so great because they're this large flat surface that you can put a really beautiful graphic on. So they're to not be able to use them in other things, like well, people use them to clo for closures and bracelets. But to be able to use them as a focal. Mm -hmm. I bet you've used them as a focal on a necklace, have you? I have. I have. Um, I have used them as focals in necklaces and bracelets and of and earrings, of course. Um, and that actually brings up um, brings up something else, Julie. We're going to do some demos for a couple of these projects, starting with the. Um, the B button earrings and we're going to do a live Facebook demo next Tuesday, which is, I think, the 23rd and um, we'll do it at 10 a.m. And also I'll, I'll do some posts to announce and remind people about that. But we're going to do a demo of using the button like that. And I'll also show some other designs using buttons as a focal it should be should be really a really fun demo. And then, yeah, yeah the other demo I'm I would like to do is for these Luna Moth earrings. Now this was Kirsten's idea. She said, I want sort of a chandelier type of um, earring with the Luna Moths. And um, so I ended up doing, and initially Kirsten, I think you said you, want, you were thinking of using wire or maybe I just ran with that, but I ended up doing two versions. This one is done with like a 26 gauge craft wire and um, it's connected with wire wrapping at both ends of the Luna, Luna Moth wings. And then I also ended up doing a beading wire version. So this is just a fine beading wire and crimp beads. So it's connected um, at the wings and up here at the ear wire. So I'd like to do a demo for those, both of those techniques as well. And I'll do that one on Tuesday, March 2nd at 10 a.m. And um, something we didn't bring up while we were talking about all the parts is that there are three kits with this launch. Oh, that, that light is so bright. Um, there are three kits with this launch. Um, the Monstera bracelet, which is a knotted, a knotted bracelet with a Luna Moth, I mean a Monstera leaf button. Oh, Jamie from Bead Gallery said you were genius for that design too. Thank you, Jamie. And then um, there's the little uh, a little leather cord bracelet with the honeycomb and one of our one of our uh, bee charms. Kirsten mentioned earlier that we do have have always had some bees in our line. We have um, two different honey bee charms and a honey bee bead. So we're really happy to have some components for them to play with. So, and all, the third kit is with the honeycomb links and um, the honey bee charms. So it's possible later down the road, we'll also do a demo um, of those. Um, we'll have to see what how the schedule looks for that. Um, 
and then yeah the rest of these designs this one was also the favorite right julie that's a big one and that uh -huh. is was requested as a kit when people found out we had kids and then mm -hmm. th that that was not a kit people were very disappointed there was right. some concern on our end about the price point of a kit like that because there's so much metal in it it'd be fun to go through the exercise and yeah. tracy make sure that you show people how you're finishing those off with our fabulous crimp ends, mm -hmm. uh, the ends where you attach the um, clasp, because I still think there's people out there that don't realize our parts crimp. Mm -hmm. well, I know we, it's unbelievable, but. She's, she's talking about, um, we have a small group of components that we call crimp ends. And um, this is one of them. This is a six by two millimeter distressed barrel bead that you can either attach by gluing or you can crimp it with flat nose or or um julie prefers crimping you guys can see her face she's not a glue person but <laughs> you can use glue and yeah kirsten it, it would be fun for us to really look at that and see if it would be feasible as a kit yeah i would love to i think the button designs are so cool tracy too because um our shanks are pretty similar on most of our buttons like you said we make them roomy so that people can kind of use them in a variety of ways. So they could take that Monstera bracelet and put their own favorite buttons in the center, or they can, you know, use the button earrings and use the one of our Western buttons or something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there's a lot of potential. Um, I'm kind of keeping an eye on the comments and I see one from uh, Camilla Campbell who has a bead store somewhere. Camilla, let us know where your bead store is because- Where is she? Where is she? That's what I want to know as a, as a manufacturer. We, we love our bead store. So we'd love to know where you are. We um, love our bead stores. The, yeah. We, hey, Julie, yeah. So with your customers, um, there was something else we put together so, sorry guys, I'm just still not very facile with the Zoom controls. So what I'd like to do is show you guys just a little um, photo album of some designs that some of our customers did with um, some of these new parts. So we have the first image you're seeing here is one from beadaholic.com. And I just love how they use those little yellow beads with the honeycomb, it's so cute. And it's a project on their website. And this little version of the succulent earrings as well. So it's been fun to see what our customers are doing with these parts. And this is, um, Julie, Jamie. this is Jamie. <laughs> Jamie at Bead Gallery in Hawaii. Yes, yeah, she did an hour uh, long just making all the parts from the kit, from the box. Awesome. So that was a fun image to get from Jamie at Bead Gallery in Hawaii. Um, Lisa Hanna's Bead Gallery, which is in Florida, they're not, they're two different stores. Um, Lisa Hanna's in Florida and she posted this cute little version of a honeycomb bee necklace that I just thought LH was so- Bead Gallery in Florida, go uh -huh. if you're down, if, what well, can't remember what city she's in. It's Hurricaneville, yeah. that's for right. sure. Um, but she, um, I love the the design. I love this design too, but I love the way she used that honeycomb. Yeah, I love the way she connected the two together. And the which, dripping honey. Yeah, which I haven't done yet. I mean, I've obviously I've considered how you could interlink these little honeycomb links, but I haven't really played with it yet. But I love what she did there. Oh, I can tell you, Tracy, that when people were opening that box and taking out their little honeycombs, the first thing they did was start interconnecting, laying them out and fitting them together. And you could see they were thinking about constructing uh -huh. something with them. Oh, fun. So um, this is a version of the, um, the succulent tassel earrings that Beth at Shipwreck Beads did. And she just went for went for the length with the tassel and I just thought they were so cute. I love the extra long tassels. Yeah, aren't great. they adorable? Another use of the crimp at the top. Yes, let's go back and look at that, Joy. I'm sure she mushed yeah. and did not glue because, you know, Probably. Beth's that way. Probably. Um, and then she made a like a large gemstone version of that knotted um, bracelet with the Luna Moth button. So just wanted to share a few of those that we got images that we found from our customers and um, let you guys see some of those. So they're finding the parts as inspiring as we are. 
So um, let me think if there's anything else I wanted to tell you guys. We're doing the giveaway. This big box that um, you caught a glimpse of. Um, we'll look at all the comments on Friday and we'll choose one. And um, someone's going to win that fabulous box. And I think we covered all the stuff we wanted to tell you guys about. I'll be putting up announcements for um, next week's live demo on looking over at the calendar. <laughs> That's the 20, 23rd, Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. So I'll post an announcement about that. I thought of something really important to add. What's important? Um, so we don't, uh, anybody that comes and sees us in Tucson gets a preview of uh -huh. our line and right. they get to order it. Uh -huh. And um, then when we come home, we launch it. Yeah, I, I meant to mention that early on, but <laughs> all those during the virtual Tucson effort, that was all kind of a preview as when our customers come to see us in Tucson, it's pre-launch and this was the same idea. Um, Except we yeah. had the unusual experience of selling out of it before oh. launch. Well, inventory's being replenished as we speak. So, you know, anybody- but There may be a delay. It's just um, to some of our customers order. trying to get them from their um, their, their favorite customers. Yeah. Um, I mean, their favorite resellers. So yeah. don't, just, there, more's on the way, more's on the way. But that's how popular it was. It literally uh, sold. Right, flew out of here. So anticipation. So um, thank you everybody for hopping on and watching our uh, video about our launch. It's renewal. You can see details of all the parts on our website. Just look for look in the collections tab and um, look for renewal. And all of the jewelry inspirations are in the inspiration section at the top. So. Um, I will put some links to those in the comments and you can, um, you can take a look and we hope you love it. Thanks you guys for joining me. Excellent. Thank you, Tracy. And we'll see everyone later.